about, we, we're all called to evangelize. We're all called to uh, be men of glory if, from MMOS. And sometimes we have to stand up and let our voices be heard. And there's no better place in my mind than to show that in supporting the uh, prayerful protest of Planned Parenthood in 40 Days for Life. And we are called to not just stand back and let somebody else take care of the problem. We're all called as individuals to be men and to stand up and to voice our, our values and our opinions. So today, during Lent, thought it would be a great idea. If those that aren't familiar with it, those that haven't had the opportunity to participate in it, maybe this is your calling. I'd like to introduce Libby Parks, who also happens to be my sister. So, uh, Libby. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do this because how appropriate this ties into what I'm gonna talk about. Thank you, Bill, that was just marvelous, and God is so good. Oh, yeah. He is. He really is so good when we obey Him and we do what He wants us to do by doing His will. And we're so much happier when we do that. And we're all Catholics. And we're all. I'm, I hope you're very proud to be Catholic. I'm an extreme proud Catholic. Um, our church is so wise. And on the subject of abortion, our church has always been on the right side. Now we have some Catholic politicians who are not on the right side of this issue and they will have to face judgment when they reach heaven or not uh, but they will have to you know it, it, I, I pray for them to turn around and, and do what god wants them to do i represent 40 days for life it is um it's a pro-life ministry and many of you men are out out in the audience now i know you've been out there in a few minutes i'm going to ask you to stand because you've been very, um, oh goodness gracious, so very faithful to stand out there and do what we try to do. 40 Days started because in 1998 in Byron College Station, Texas, Planned Parenthood decided they wanted to open up to destroy lives of the young college kids there. Well, I'm editing. And a group of Christians had been praying in front of Planned Parenthood for four or five years trying to help the women. And in 2004, two couples, one Catholic and one evangelical, got together around a kitchen table and they prayed for a solid hour asking God what could they do to prevent abortion in their city. They were so sick and tired of watching these women go into a place and come out so forlorn, forlorn and so sad and then knowing what had happened and what they had left behind. So while they were praying, they were inspired by the biblical number 40. 40, the number 40 is mentioned 146 times in the Bible, and it is usually associated with periods of testing. Well, these couples decided to start a prayer around the clock in front of 40 days, in front of Planned Parenthood for 40 days from 24-7 to end abortions. 